we almost all have irrational fears of some sort, of the dark, or of flying, or of bats, or mice, or spiders. But for most of us, darkness, aeroplanes, and creepy crawlies don't affect our daily lives. We're therefore considered normal. Vic Mayer is a psychologist, not a psychiatrist, a man trained not in medicine, but in the science of behavior. His interest is not so much in the unconscious or in drugs, but in why we learn to behave as we do and how we can be taught to change. Because this approach to mental illness is a novel one, even medically qualified staff have to learn it when they join the unit. The technique is based on Pavlov's theory of conditioning. The nurses are told, for example, that if you turn to drink to relieve anxiety, and if it works, you might learn to depend on drink and become a drunk. The task of behavior therapy, then, is to teach you an alternative approach. During the war, I was a fighter pilot, and my squadron leader was a psychologist, well-trained psychologist, and he had to fly Spitfires at night. And they're very difficult to land, never mind at night, during the day. And there were lots of accidents on landing. Now, the, every pilot was very quickly checked and told, take that plane and take off again. Why? Because if you ran away from the airfield, went to the officer's bar, to the officer's mess, and had one pint and reason your anxiety, it would be so much more difficult to get, back, to get you back to flight. Why? Because running away from the situation, you reduce your anxiety. Glynis Rogerson gets on well enough at social gatherings. She likes people, but she's terrified of dogs. If she had any other occupation, it might not matter much. But Glenis is a social worker. She has to visit clients, and her phobia is jeopardizing her career. Well, I'm very nervous when I'm going around flats and have to go up staircases where my view is not clear. I'm always afraid that I will sort of stumble across a dog as I turn the staircase. When I was about four, I was in the park, and I'd wandered off from my mother, and this Alsatian came, just absolutely bounding over towards me. I don't think it was menacing me, but I was rather small at the time. And I just can remember quite clearly the thing of this sort of leaping towards me. Uh, I don't know whether it actually struck me, but I do know it leapt and I fell. And since then, I've had this absolute terror of even small dogs. Since they sort of leap four. at me since the age of four. What sort of treatment have you had before, if any? Well, when I started a social work course in London, uh, I sort of became aware that I was going to have to go out into situations that I couldn't control or avoid. So I went to the college counsellor and was there for about six months while, you know, doing the sort of talking bit. Psychotherapy? Yes. Of course, the interpretation was that it was linked to my fear of aggressive men, which had started the fear of my father, which seemed a bit oversimplistic. <laughs> particularly as the fear of dogs certainly predated my fear of aggressive men. Glenis was referred to Dr. Mayer and was treated as an outpatient. As always in behavior therapy, okay. the emphasis was on learning, in this case, learning to adjust to dogs. The apparatus tests the electrical conductivity of her skin and it'll help her to control her own reactions. We'll set it at certain reading. Okay, now keep on relaxing and start imagining. You're in the street and you see a dog, empty street, and you see a dog rushing towards you. Keep on imagining. Now stop imagining, tell yourself, okay, I can control it. And start relaxing. Take it down as quickly as you can. Good. Keep on relaxing. If you like to, you can introduce that pleasant scene, the relaxing scene. That's well done.
well done. It's lovely. That's very good. Very good. Okay. Lovely. Right. That was really good. That was very, very good. If you were asked to pick him up now, could you do it? Yes, I think so. Okay. Except, so he's, Except he's, he's associating Dog. me with all sorts of things. Perry! <laughs> Come on here. We're doing walkies. Okay, try. Try to pick him up. Heavy, isn't it? I cannot hold him. You couldn't do good PGR because PGR have got berserk now. Right. Thank you very much. Lovely. Okay. Right. You'll go walk his soon. Well, I'm feeling much happier about him now. I'm not certain that that's going to help with any other dogs that I come in contact with, but certainly with him, I feel quite happy. Now, shall we be brave? Do you know what I would like to do? Guess. Now, first of all, relax yourself. Good. You do it beautifully, by the way. Relaxation, you do it very well indeed. Now, don't withdraw. Let him have it. You know what's going to happen. He's only interested in bone, in the bone. He's not interested <laughs> in you. OK. Ready? Come on, don't. Good. All right. Let's rest. Off you go. Kevin, come here. Come here. <laughs> Don't cover, that's right. Let the moment like this. Come on. Just control that. Lovely. Thank you. Go figure. That was even better. You know what's next one, Glenis? And just concentrate on this. Control this. Come on, dog, have it. Just control this. It's not bloody hell. I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> And just control it. Just control it. Terrific. Right. Now, you see, you see behavior therapy par excellence. Glennis, has the treatment worked? Well, I think I'm a lot better in some situations than I was before. But I must admit, it hasn't gone as quickly as I hoped that it would. I'm still sort of anxious out on the street. But I'm much better with dogs in a room, which, I mean, must be a start. Perhaps it's reasonable if I've had this fear since I was four that it just simply is not going to go away, you know, that quickly. But I would hope it would be a matter of months rather than any longer. Well, you've experienced psychotherapy in the past. You've now gone through behaviour therapy. How do they compare? Well, I think, for me at least, the behaviour therapy has been a lot better. That the effect of actually trying to make me unlearn the fear that I'd got seems to be much more sensible and actually much more relevant than starting to try and put it into a sort of some sort of psychosis. <laughs>